We are live at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena where people are beginning to crowd in to watch the unveiling of the next chapter in PlayStation history. What's up everybody? Welcome to the 2013 <laughs> Sonar, Sony Computer Entertainment live event stream. I'm Anthony Carboni. I've got Meredith Molinari with me. I am so excited. Such a great year to be at E3. Absolutely, Anthony. I am super excited to be here hosting this pre-show with you. I mean, this press conference, it could be historic. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think everyone is just like shaking with anticipation <laughs> since the February 20th announcement of the PlayStation 4. And I'm really hoping that we are going to get a more in-depth look about the, uh, you know, the PlayStation 4's features. We're inside here. We're waiting for everyone to spill in. Mm -hmm. What are you feeling? What are your expectations for tonight? Oh, man, obviously. We, we learned a little bit about the hardware. Yes. We know about the eight gigs of RAM. We know about the quad core processor. Here's what we don't know. First and foremost, what does it look like? <laughs> I want to know what this thing looks like. Yeah. I also want to know about the new DualShock. I mean, we have a new controller. We know they've updated the Rumble Pack. Yep. We know that there's a speaker. We also know they have a touchpad, and as a big PS Vita fan, I'm really excited to find out, is the technology for the touchpad going to be similar to the touchscreen uh, PS Vita technology, or is it something new entirely? We don't know. Yeah. I've got so many questions, and I have no answers, and yeah. I'm really hoping to get some answers tonight. Another thing I want to know, user experience. We have a lot of new features here, right? We've got that sharing that you talked yeah. about. We have streaming classic titles. We have first day downloads. How does it look to access all this stuff? How am I getting around on this new so system? Wait, wait. You're nerding out over the menu. I am a menu <laughs> nerd. I want to know what it's about. That's right. I want to know what colors. What's my background going to look like? Can I change it? <laughs> I'm such a girl that way. I want to customize everything. Yeah, absolutely. But not only do we have a lot of new hardware, mm -hmm. there's also going to be a lot of new games being talked about tonight. Yes. Any game that you're really looking forward to finding more about? Oh, man. So obviously, we're going to see a lot of stuff from Worldwide Studios. We're going to find out more about Knack, that launch title that's coming out. We know that's day one. I want to know more about how that plays. What about you? You know, I'm really excited to find out if there's going to be games that are exclusively for the PS4, brand new titles coming out, or are there going to be other titles and series from the mm -hmm. PS3 that are now going to be available on the PS4 and like some new shiny version? Yep. And how is it going to work with my Vita? I know. Yep. It all goes back <laughs> to my PlayStation Vita. Absolutely. Yeah. All but right, you know, so we're let's also take a little break right for now. Okay. We're going to introduce you guys to another member of our live cast team. She's going to be with us all week long. Taryn Southern is outside where the crowd's coming in. Taryn, how How's it going? Oh my gosh, you guys, it's great. This place is filled with excitement. You can't actually see the crowds of people lined up starting to trickle into the arena, but Dan Su, who's here with me, can. You're editor-in-chief of GameSpeed, and this is not your first time at the rodeo. In fact, you've done 17 E3s? 17 E3s, yeah, I've been here for a while. That's insane! Yeah, I know. Okay, so what are we going to see tonight, Dan? Well, uh, hopefully Sony's going to announce a price. That's what everyone wants to know, right? Sony, if the, the thing's coming out, the PlayStation 4 is coming out soon. So people are going to want to know how much they're plunking down for things. So we expect to see price. We want to see hardware. Uh, we're going to see the machine for the first time. And that's what, you know, and a lot of games. I think they saw the negative reaction when other companies don't show enough games. So I think we're going to see plenty of games tonight. Obviously, we know a little bit about the features. What are you most excited to see? Actually, you know what's weird? I want to see all the indie games that Sony is going to bring out because uh, Sony's been a very traditionally indie friendly company. So I want to see some of the weirder, quirky, non mainstream, non big explosion stuff, you know, coming out from Sony. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a blast, and I will see you after the show to hear all of your thoughts. Cool. All right, thanks, guys. What's going on inside? Well, Taryn, uh, Taryn is going to be with us all week, by the way. Mm -hmm. Remember that we have live coverage from the PlayStation booth all week long. All week long. Like, at least, what, 27 million hours of live casting? Yes. No, it's We're all packing it all tomorrow. into three days. Yes. It all starts tomorrow at noon. You can check it out on the PlayStation website, on the PlayStation blog. And if you can't catch it live, we will have syndication on the PlayStation YouTube page. Speaking so of the PlayStation blog, we got Ray Gutierrez outside. Ray, what's happening out there? What's going on, Anthony? It's good to see you, man. 
Uh, you know, with every Epic hardware console reveal comes Epic Games and software. But for every Epic game, you need an Unreal Engine. Joining me from Unreal Games, co-founder and vice president of the games, Mark Rain. How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you today? So let's talk about PlayStation 4 and the romance it's got for the Unreal Engine. Talk about that. <laughs> we love the PlayStation 4. Uh, we did the Elemental demo. We showed that live on really? stage, running um, uh, in real time PlayStation 4 at the launch event. And now we're just really excited that developers are starting to make some really great games with it. So talk about how easy it is or how streamlined it is to develop for the PlayStation 4. Well, something that we've always concentrated on is getting the pipeline right, making it easier and easier and easier, using the power of the engine and procedural technology to make games better games, easier, less people than are most of our competitors. And so uh, this time around with Unreal Engine 4, we have an entirely new blue blueprint system that can just produce some really incredible results. That's awesome, man. Talk about the, the challenges. You know, it, it, it's, it's hard enough to make a game. How hard is it to design the software to make those games? Well, it takes a special group of people, and that's certainly what we have at Epic Games. We're really proud of them, and, uh, you know, hopefully they'll keep doing it. Mark, it's always good to see you. Thank you for that. Inside, we have my homeboy, my good friend, Sid Schumann, manager of the PlayStation blog. And we're here live with Neil Druckmann, creative director on The Last of Us, getting monster reviews coming out this Friday only on PS3. Dude. This game is being uh, named as a potential Game of the Year candidate, and it's June. What are the guys at Naughty Dog saying about this? It's not even out yet. <laughs> it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, you know, crunching so hard. The team has been working amazingly hard, and it's super gratifying. And, you know, the next big thing for us is Friday when the game is finally out, and we get to hear what the fans think. And we can't wait. We can't wait to, like, be able to talk about the whole thing beginning to end. You come with, like, interviews. We're talking around the spoilers, around all the, the twists and stuff. So. Friday, big day for us. Huge day and huge day for all gamers. I've played the entire game. I'm stunned by just the, the kind of the maturity level, the themes that you guys deal with. This is not a typical video game. Is that what you, did you guys set out to make a game that just kind of defies the genre? I mean, we set out to make the game we always wanted to play. We looked at kind of like what was out there, what was really inspiring to us, what kind of characters we really wanted to explore, and we made it. And honestly, we thought it would be way more divisive and polarizing, and we're like just blown away by their reception. We really are. I mean, just a huge, huge review uh, reception. I've never seen anything quite like this. I mean, it's the most talked about game of the year, for sure. One of my favorite elements of the game, though, the relationship between Joel and Ellie. I've never seen anything quite like it. Tell us about that. I mean, that's, that's always been the core of the game, is this relationship between these two characters and every decision, every moment, every like artistic choice has come always from that relationship. That was always the core, even before we knew what genre the game would take place in. We knew the arcs of these two characters. And I think that focus really helped make that kind of a unique experience that you've never felt this kind of relationship before in a game. And one thing I want to point out, oh, we're out of time, and we're going to go back to Ray. Thanks, Sid. Tell Neil that I love him a lot, especially after The Last of Us. It wouldn't be a PlayStation press conference pre-show without the man, the myth, the legend, editor-in-chief of the Shuckdoid, Dale North. I hyped you up. I appreciate that. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm pretty excited. I wonder why. Why are you excited, Mr. Dale North? Because so far I've seen a controller for <laughs> a, I don't know what this thing is yet, but I know I want it. And I know there's going to be games on it that I want from people that make games that I like. Name some of those games. And I'm just going to nod you and smile. Know, you know that I don't know any of the games, and that you do. But I can, I can expect that uh, Naughty Dog is making something for this new system that we haven't seen yet. Yeah. Probably. Probably. And they made the, the Last of Us, and that was... Well, let's talk about The Last of Us. Everyone's calling it a masterpiece. Tens across the board. What's your opinion? My opinion is that I'm four and a half hours in, but wow. then I had to leave to this place. So what the heck are you doing here? I'm covering my ears so no one tells me what happened. Yeah, That's oh awesome, my God. man. That is a 20 plus hour masterpiece. I cannot- 20 plus hours. I cannot rave and rant more about that game. So any predictions besides games that I cannot confirm or deny that exist tonight? I, you know, no one's saying anything. Everyone's just kind of excited. I expect Sony to come out big because there's so many opportunities. Nothing against anyone else, but there's so many opportunities for them to step up in front of them and say, hey, we're doing this. Right oh, you're wondering about that? Look what we're doing. Awesome. So I expect a kind of a showy answer to what people want and expect. So, so what's going to make Dale North a happy Dale North? What's going to make your corgis back at home smile with glee after this press conference? What do you want to see? I want to see uh, more of PlayStation Plus. I want to see a system that doesn't focus on television and anything else other than games. I mean, all this stuff is a nice bonus. I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> I think you do. I think you do know what I'm talking about. No, I just want to play games on a system that's really crazy powerful and has a lot of support from good game makers. Um, I, I will, Dale, always a pleasure, man. They're telling me to go back inside to our, our uh, main hosts. Thanks, Ray. Everybody talking about The Last of Us. Yes. I cannot wait to play it. Well, what's so crazy to me is like last year, I got the opportunity to sit down with Ashley Johnson and Troy Baker, the voice actors mm -hmm. for The Last of Us, and we got to talk about the game and what their experience was. And now, uh, here we are a year later, and that game is just coming out. It's yeah. like, I can't believe the time has gone by so fast. And that just goes to show like how much dedication it takes to put a game like that, of that magnitude, together. For sure. Another thing that was brought up by Dan Shu, which I think is an excellent, excellent thing to bring up, is open publishing across these PlayStation consoles. Like, games like The Last of Us, the AAA stuff, absolutely. But opening it up to the indie guys, the smaller studios, if you want to put a game on a PlayStation console, there is almost no barrier to entry, and I love that. Yeah, you know, you look at games that Sony Santa Monica put together, like Journey and Sound Shapes, those are really small indie games that could have gotten swallowed up by that size of a studio, but instead, Sony Santa Monica found a way to like raise the game up, and I think it inspires other indie developers to come on over to the Sony side and not, not be afraid of the big boys. And you gotta love it as a Vita fan, too, <laughs> because all this stuff like uh, Guacamele, all this cross play yeah. stuff taking it everywhere with you you I must do. really enjoy that I really do and what's so great about it is that it fits right in my little pocket or my purse and <laughs> I can just take my games on the go and I'm not stuck playing Candy Crush for nine million hours so we're getting real close to showtime here but we want to show you one new thing before the show even starts one of the biggest things about Gran Turismo 5 was GT Academy and that is coming back for Gran Turismo 6 let's find out more Gran Turismo, GT Academy, I would flunk out immediately. <laughs> I'm right behind you. <laughs> I'm the worst Gran Turismo player. All right, well, we're going to throw you down to the floor where Taryn is in the mix of it all. Taryn, how's it going? Hey, guys, I am inside. I made my way in. It's starting to fill up. Look at this place. It's amazing. We've got nine screens behind me, and I don't know if you, how much you heard from Dan Shu, who I talked to outside, but he made a comment about how these conferences have really changed over the years. They started with a very business-like kind of tone, and now they've moved towards becoming incredibly engaging with PS fans, entertaining. The speakers who come up have a lot to say. The gameplay is, is really fun, and obviously we're going to get a lot of huge announcements tonight. So if you were inside this arena right now, trust me, you could feel the energy. Everyone is so excited. It's actually almost completely full already. We only have a few minutes left before the announcements begin, but Meredith, I want to hear what's going down with you guys. All right, well, I know that E3, no matter how many times I'm here, they always surprise me with these yep. press conferences. I mean, as a God of War fan, when yep. Todd Pappy himself came out last year to do the demo, I, I thought that was a big surprise. He what pulled off some things in God of War <laughs> that I thought were only theoretically possible in that <laughs> demo. Uh, big, big moment for me in, in E3 history, Gabe Newell coming out Portal 2. Yeah. That was huge, huge, yeah. super surprising. Tons of these moments coming up throughout the week. We're going to be on the floor all three days. We're going to yeah. have everybody from the PlayStation blog with us. Taryn's going to be with us. We're going to have, what, over 40 games? We're going to have 40 games we're going to talk about. We're going to have some live demos. We're going to have interviews with game developers. You definitely don't want to miss any of the coverage. So, yes, once again, you can find it on the PlayStation website at PlayStation.com. Check out the PlayStation blog. Or if you can't watch it live, you can mosey on over to the PlayStation YouTube page. But you definitely don't want to miss it because this week is just filled with amazing game coverage. Yeah, last year I got to see the Beyond Two Souls, the first demo. Whoa. Whew. Yeah. And now we're going to see more about that this year. 
We're getting I mean, closer and closer to release. Yes. That was definitely one of my E3 memories. I got to sit down with David Cage, who talks in games in this way where you, it's like you're having a conversation about art. Mm -hmm. You know, he has such a, a, a guttural response to the art he creates, and he's really in love with with the media, and I think it's, it's great to be able to sit down with someone who's, for lack of a better word, an auteur. Yeah. For sure, and there are a lot more of these people as we're bringing in the indies. I remember sitting and watching Flower as it was first announced. Yeah. I remember seeing, you know, Journey as yeah. it was first announced. And being here to see all of these things just come together. There are Amazing. so many things that we cannot even imagine <laughs> coming out this year. All right, well, we are getting ready to get this press conference started. But before we go, we thought that you guys would enjoy hearing what some of the biggest names in the industry have to say about the new platform. So we're going to leave you now with some reflections on the promise of the PS4. Enjoy the press conference, guys, and stick around, because we'll be joining you again immediately with our rap show. As a developer, all you want to do is get your content on a platform. You know, you have your original vision, you have the goal that you want to try and achieve, and if the platform gets in the way of that, you feel frustrated. But if you are molding the vision for that platform as you're developing, it makes it so much easier for you to, to, to execute on that vision. And so we were able to provide really concrete targets for them. And you know, it's not like they took them as marching orders, but I feel like what we contributed combined with what all the other studios they work with contributed made this a very informed set of decisions. And I think you're seeing that when uh, you, you see the reaction, even from people who weren't directly involved, as, hey, this is a well-engineered gaming system. Sony recognizes that the PlayStation is a gaming platform. And in order to sell gaming platforms, you need to sell games. And that's very important, and not everybody gets that. A lot of people see gaming platforms as like home media entertainment. Yes, they do have all this other additional functionality, but the people who go out there and buy those platforms initially are the gamers. And those people are the people who you know, provide word of mouth of like, yes, you should buy this because it's awesome. At that point, I think this is where people already start thinking differently. And you know that the boundaries that you've sort of gotten used to, for a moment, those boundaries, they just disappear. And it's, it's all about finding out how far you can push your vision, that you can really go all out and think outside of the box. Uh, I think that that's something very, very powerful. I think Sony really gets it and gets where gaming should be going, that um, online gaming itself doesn't necessarily mean hardcore people playing in a clan, in you know, a deathmatch somewhere. It means sharing. It means being social with each other. One of the things we've found internally is that um, you, you get inspired by other people doing cool stuff. And that is what's amazing about system-wide sharing of moments, not just of creations, but of actual moments while you're playing. That can be funny, that can be instructive, and that can be inspiring. One key thing is that I think for some reason with the PlayStation, um, there's always been a move to encourage the sort of artistic visionaries. And I think with this next generation, that's just been you know, pushed forward even more. So the kind of things that start to come out are these you know, sort of transplant from the person, from the creator's mind to the screen. You know, they're going to bring the, their vision and, just, and it will work. It allows just the industry to grow. Um, it's not just, here's a new piece of hardware. It's, here's a new era. And that's just amazing.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to begin in one minute. One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jack Tretton. I'm waking up. What's up, everybody? Welcome to E3 2013. Man, there's never been a more exciting time to be in the gaming industry. I'm told there are a billion gamers worldwide. There's 220 million in the United States alone. And hopefully we've got something for all of you guys tonight. Uh, but I always have to start my presentation uh, by reaching out to the people that started lining up 
on Friday at noon to be a part of this presentation. Yeah. The millions of people watching around the world through our stream broadcast, you guys look forward to E3 all year long. There's nothing more exciting than eating up every piece of news and all the great gaming information that has to be shared. And when you combine that with a next generation platform launch, that's birthday and Christmas all rolled into one. So I want to thank you guys. Your motivation and your enthusiasm has really driven me throughout my entire career and this entire presentation is for you. So thank you very much. It's already been an incredibly exciting year so far. In February, we unveiled the most advanced gaming system ever created with PlayStation 4. And since then, momentum and excitement across the industry has grown tremendously. Tonight, we look forward to revisiting why those of us involved in creating this groundbreaking entertainment can't wait to bring it to you. And I know you're all looking forward to hearing more about PlayStation 4 but there are more than 70 million people who want to know what's new on PS3 and PlayStation Vita. There's lots of exciting news to share on Vita as it approaches its second year in the market, and PlayStation 3 lineup is stronger than it's ever been. What's equally exciting, however, is transforming the PlayStation ecosystem into a stronger, more vibrant platform that enables people to engage, share, play, and connect on their terms. There's no better example of this movement than PlayStation Vita. Vita is just beginning its life cycle. Just over a year since its launch, we've built a library of more than 125 Vita dedicated games. And people have access to more than 650 titles when PSP, PS1, and PlayStation Mobile games are included. It's clear that people love Vita once they get their hands on it. In the US, Vita owners have on average purchased more than 10 games, and Vita customers also reflect the strong appetite for digital downloads, with nearly 60% of all Vita title purchases made through the PlayStation Store. The Vita vision hasn't wavered from delivering rich gameplay that you simply can't find on any other portable device. Vita is about tapping into an incredible pool of games through a system that offers dual analog sticks, high-def graphics, and amazing gameplay to deliver the best pace to play outside the home. The platform will only get stronger in 2013 as the development community, especially indies and smaller developers, continue to expand its support. More than 85 titles will launch by the end of this year, including Batman Arkham Origins, <laughs> Counter Spy, Destiny of Spirits, Doki Doki Universe, Killzone Mercenary, and Tearaway. We're also remastering some of your favorite games for Vita. I'm pleased to announce that games like God of War HD 1 and 2, Final Fantasy X and X2, as well as Flower and Dead Nation are coming soon. Finally, I know many of you are as eager to hear what's next for Telltale's critically acclaimed series, The Walking Dead. It gives me great pleasure, thank you, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the new episode, 400 Days, is coming this summer. We're bringing The Walking Dead to Vita in a major way with a new bundle in August that comes with the complete first season of the series, plus 400 days and other bonus content. As you saw in February, Vita will play a more critical role in our ecosystem with PlayStation 4. PS4 was designed at a system architecture level to connect to Vita. This means Vita gamers not only have access to the current 650 games, but they'll now be able to tap into a completely new library of PS4 games that can be played over Wi-Fi via the remote play feature. We're making Vita the ultimate companion device for PS4. And as with all PlayStation platforms, we continue to bring the best media and communication apps to Vita. Skype looks beautiful on the Vita screen, as does Netflix movies and YouTube channels. 
Of course, we can't talk about incredible gaming and entertainment without highlighting PlayStation 3. As we head towards our seventh holiday season with PS3, our commitment is as strong as ever. We have a game lineup today that rivals or exceeds any of our previous year's offerings. Let's take a look at what's coming to PlayStation Nation this year from our worldwide studios team, starting this Friday with Game of the Year candidate, The Last of Us. We won't get another shot at this. I want Joel over her. What on earth do the Fireflies want with you? Got some walk in the park here. They're coming. I know. Run. At least they're pretty normal. It's the normal people that scare me. short time ago, in a galaxy far from far away, Hero and Tyrant would soon have their final showdown. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon, and the earth, and the sun, and galaxy, and, well, let's just say he better not mess up. What's going on, Nick? This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. You have to go with them, Jody. Today. Come on, Holmes, keep up! Move it, recruit! It's not a fucking Sunday stroll! <laughs> Compose yourself and go again. Use your momentum to swing across. That's it, Holmes. Take up. Aim. Shoot. Not bad, Jody. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy. No backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. <laughs> Jody. I don't want to 
you have me. Not too shabby for a platform in its seventh year, huh? We're so proud of the Worldwide Studios team and their incredible talent hi highlighted by The Last of Us. It's created by the amazing team at Naughty Dog. The Last of Us received global reviews that only a handful of titles ever achieved. It's the highest rated game on all platforms spanning 2012 and 2013 to date. Naughty Dog has now created two of the highest rated PS3 games of all time. And of course, we're equally excited by what's coming to PS3 from our publishing partners. This includes a special partnership to bring back one of the most iconic franchises in the world to PlayStation this fall. I don't care who does it. I don't care how they do it. I just want the bat dead. He's a hero. Luckily, there ain't a problem in the world that can't be solved with a little bit of money. Tonight, we all win. One of you walks away with $50 million. And the rest, well, we get rid of the Batman. Where's Black Mask? Let me go! If you insist. of you to drop in.
We're so excited to reignite our partnership with Warner Brothers to bring our fans an exclusive experience for Batman Arkham Origins. As part of the partnership, fans will get content that you'll only find on PlayStation, including Nightfall downloadable content and a 1960s TV show Batman skin. Sadly, I remember it well. <laughs> Finally, PlayStation and Rockstar share a, history, a long history of bringing amazing games to our fans. I know everyone in the room is looking forward to Grand Theft Auto V, and I can tell you that the experience will be epic on PS3. We're offering our fans an exclusive GTA V bundle for PS3 that will be available on September 17th for $299. In addition, we've created a GT5 branded, GTA 5, I'm sorry, branded Pulse Elite headset, comes with an exclusive GTA soundscape. If gamers want the ultimate GTA 5 experience, it can only be found on PlayStation 3. Our exclusive bundle and our headset highlights our continued partnership, and you can expect more information regarding Grand Theft Auto 5 to be announced in the coming weeks. Just to reiterate, all of these titles, along with nearly 300 others, will launch before the end of the year. There's no better way to show the strength of a platform than with the upcoming lineup. And the PS3 continues to deliver hit after hit. Now, PlayStation 3 was an epic leap forward when it launched, but we continue to dream of a more immersive and innovative experience. PlayStation 4 represents the platform upon which this vision will be built. It's a platform that demonstrates everything PlayStation stands for. A relentless focus on the gamer, an inspired community of developers, a powerful set of tools, and the long-standing legacy of PlayStation's commitment to building worlds without boundaries. Please join me in welcoming Andrew House on stage to talk more about PlayStation 4. Thank you, Jack. It's a thrill to be with you all today. As you've already seen, PlayStation is in a state of rapid evolution. With the arrival of PlayStation 4, we have a console of unparalleled power. This means new experiences, greater social integration, cloud-based technology, and a system architecture capable of handling the most intricate ideas developers can conceive. We know gamers can't wait to see the PS4 product design. It is a design that is sleek and visually impactful wherever it is placed and that we hope you are proud to own. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to introduce the PlayStation 4. The product designer, Sumisa, and <laughs> take a bow. <laughs> and to the whole PlayStation design, engineering, and development team, thank you for being uncompromising in the pursuit of a revolutionary new console, and one that is worthy of the PlayStation heritage. This is a completely new platform and in many ways represents a completely new PlayStation. But what's always been true is that PlayStation is defined by breakthrough content that resonates with gamers of all types. And this philosophy extends to our media services. We strive to ensure that our services are relevant and meaningful. 
Our strategy for building an incredible entertainment platform on PlayStation Network is unique in that we focus on our fans and curate content that we know they will love. And we'll be offering our customers even more in the near future. We're, ma we're now more than ever capitalizing on the full potential of the vast network of Sony divisions and living up to Sony's reputation as one of the biggest and most powerful entertainment brands in the world. It's now my pleasure to introduce and welcome to the stage for the first time, CEO of Sony Entertainment and Chairman and CEO of Sony Pictures Entertainment, Michael Linton. Thank you, Andy. PlayStation gamers are some of the most passionate entertainment fans we've ever seen. So it's an incredible honor to be with you here today and with those of you watching live tonight. For our entertainment companies, including Sony Pictures, Sony Music, Sony ATV Music Publishing, PlayStation 4 represents a groundbreaking new platform for amazing entertainment. We are excited about the opportunity to deliver next generation entertainment that is curated for gamers on PlayStation Network and PlayStation 4. Through services like Music and Video Unlimited, as well as Sony Pictures' own Crackle. Sony Music Entertainment, a leader in the global music business with artists like Daft Punk, Nine Inch Nails, and Jack White, is committed to working, Jack White, is committed to working closely with the PlayStation Network on further development and in, in enhancement of Music Unlimited. As one of the largest production and distribution companies in the world, Sony Pictures has relationships with talent across the industry who are creating today's biggest hits. We brought them together in recent years to deliver breakthrough movies and television shows. Sony Pictures is the studio that makes shows like Community and, of course, Breaking Bad. And blockbuster movies including Spider-Man, Resident Evil, and the upcoming This is the End. As we look forward to the availability of the PlayStation 4 later this year, I am happy to announce that Sony Pictures is hard at work on, brand, on a brand new original programming plan and a unique access to content that will be available exclusively on PlayStation Network and PlayStation 4. And importantly, all of the new and existing program, programming that we provide to PlayStation, PlayStation Network will be tailored and selected specifically for the type of entertainment gamers want and love. As Andy mentioned, Sony is one of the largest entertainment brands in the world and is differentiated in that the industry's best content, network services, and hardware all sit under one roof. Sony Pictures will do everything in our power to drive the success of PlayStation 4 by delivering new, cutting-edge programming that is developed with gamers in mind and by offering unique access to incredible content. We look forward to sharing more details in the near future. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you for having me tonight, and have a great night. Thanks, Michael. We're obviously very excited about working with Sony Pictures and the new ways we'll be able to curate exclusive content that will provide yet another reason to be part of the PlayStation community. With the launch of PS4, you can expect Sony Entertainment Network, including Music Unlimited and Video Unlimited services, to be better than ever. The Video Unlimited service will be available on day one for PS4, offering the ability to rent and own more than 150,000 of the latest and best movies and TV shows. Music Unlimited will also be day one, offering access to its global catalog of more than 20 million songs that can be streamed across PlayStation platforms 
Android smartphones and tablets, and iPhones. Today, we offer the leading media services on PlayStation, including Netflix, Amazon Instant Video, and MLB TV. In fact, PS3 is the number one device in the world for streaming Netflix content to the living room. And we're adding new services to our platform. I'm happy to announce that Redbox Instant by Verizon will be available to our US gamers very soon, offering over 7,000 movies on PS3, PS Vita, and PlayStation 4. We're all, thank you. We're also bringing some of your favorite pay-per-view events to the platform soon. The new Live Events Viewer delivers PlayStation fans the best live sporting, music, and entertainment events, live or on demand, from partners across the world. Finally, I'm happy to announce that beginning this fall, Flixster will be available on our network, giving PlayStation gamers access to the, one of the world's most popular apps for discovering, collecting, and watching movies. All of these network services are further evidence of our continued commitment to providing gamers the kinds of music, movies, shows, live events, sports, and games that they love. And we're working hard to bring all of these services to PlayStation 4. Of course, at its core, the PS4 is about delivering breakthrough gaming experiences. This is where our passion lies and it's what keeps PlayStation fans coming back. Now I think it's time to take a closer look at what's been in the works in terms of game innovation and new titles. To give you a glimpse of the creative work accomplished in the last year, please join me in welcoming the president of Sony Computer Entertainment Worldwide Studios, Shuhei Yoshida. Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you. For the last five years, Worldwide Studios have been an integral part of development of PS4. Our Worldwide Studios team consists of 14 studios making it the largest first-party studio network in the world. Key members of this team have participated in designing, developing, and testing PS4 to make sure that it will become a platform on which game developers, big or small, can realize their wildest game ideas. As we approach the PS4 design, we looked at not only what game developers wanted, but also how consumers play and enjoy games these days. We, the gamers, use social media to find out new games and discuss what we like and do not like about games and game platforms. And as you can see, it's like I have a second job as a frontline customer service on Twitter when people are excited or concerned about anything PlayStation. It's awesome that we have a direct connection with people who care about games and share their feelings every day. In Worldwide Studios, we have over 30 PS4 titles in development, and 20 of them are planned to release in the first year of the launch of PS4. We are known in the industry to aggressively pursue new IPs, and we will continue this push on PS4. Out of the 20 titles that I just mentioned, 12 of them are brand new IPs. It is my great pleasure to introduce a highly imaginative new IP coming exclusive to the PS4.
It is a new world for us. For all of us. An age of scientific marvels. And yet, underneath the brass and steel, the old struggle endures. The wall dividing life from death. It is so thin. Its protectors so few. But for so few, such terrible strength do we possess. Thank you. We are proud to have Ready at Dawn developing an exclusive title for PS4. As you know, they developed three of the highest quality PSP titles with us and have grown into one of the world's most respected studios. Next, I'd like to share with you the latest updates on the four new titles we announced in February. All teams are making great progress and right before this conference started, our developers showed off a live playthrough of new never seen before levels of these titles on this stage here. For those of you watching the live stream now, the playthroughs will be posted on, the, on our Facebook and YouTube, and of course on playstation.com. So please check them out later. And now I want to take a minute and show you some highlights of the exciting new features and elements of these titles. Let me show you something. It was a recon mission across the wall. We've heard nothing since. One wrong move and this all blows up in our face. Do what you do best.
have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal viral terrorist. Seem to be getting the hang of your, uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> of course, the only downside being that, uh... Nope, can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. this whole thing figured out. We hit the town, and maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back? I'm happy to confirm that Killzone Shadow 4, Drive Club, and NAC will be released at the launch of PS4. <laughs> An infamous second song in Q1 2014. In the February event, David Cage of Quantic Dream discussed the evolution of human characters in games and how PS4 will allow the game players to feel the emotions of game characters by just looking at their eyes and facial gestures. On PS4, we can introduce a much wider and deeper array of emotions and expressions than in the current generation of games. More subtle and lighter emotions. This will allow us to explore all kinds of storytelling in games so games of the future can reach a much wider audience than today. To prove this point, Quantic Dream has developed a 12-minute technical demo to show off that potential. And here, I'm happy to show you a sneak preview of their work. Please remember, this is all running in real time on PS4. Let's take a look. Shrouded by darkness, I have suppressed my hatred while I waited for the stars to align. After a thousand years spent wandering the darkest bowels of the earth, time to emerge from the shadows has finally of Saddam the Dark will be unleashed. My wrath will reduce the empire of Anadir to ashes. Now will I bring them chaos and destruction. Now will there be suffering and desolation. I will make them regret the day they dare to defy the greatest dark sorcerer ever to walk the earth. <laughs> I 
seven seals of the war, and the talismans of Rastadan. I am but you, Astaroth, that lord of the lost temples. By the sacred power of the ancient gods, by all the spirit servants of Asmodan, by all the sacred parchments of Pastor! 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 Oh, shit! I can never get that last one right. Pasta Malavi. I, I, it was on the tip of my tongue. I knew it. Damn. I am so sorry. No problem. We'll just take it again. Wow. Dude. Totally freaked me out. I right, scared the crap out of me, man. Oh, excuse me, if I may, uh, I just have a quick word about the script. About the script? Uh, yes, as my character is rather complex, I want to make sure I'm conveying all facets of his psychology. So. I ask myself whether this hatred that is consuming him isn't emanating from... You know what? Don't change a thing. You were great. Okay, everybody, let's take it from where we left off, if you're all ready. Hey, hey, name's Maurice. Uh, How you doing? Uh, David, all David right, Gant. Right. First time in a video game? Uh, yes. Yeah, welcome to hell. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. So tomorrow at 1 p.m., we'll be showcasing the whole demo at the PlayStation booth. So please come and check, out, check it out. For those of you who cannot join us at the booth, watch at home on the live stream at PlayStation.com and on YouTube. It's amazing and fun. <laughs> at PlayStation, we pride ourselves in supporting independent and smaller developers who bring a fresh perspective to game development. Oftentimes, we are amazed and totally inspired by the sheer passion and creativity of these smaller teams. Here to share with you some of the exciting games they got coming to PlayStation is Adam Boyce. Chu Yoshida, that man has the most infectious smile in the whole industry. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing, good? Excellent. So you've all seen some impressive blockbusters that are coming to PS4 in the near future, but as with platforms, cultivating a wide variety of experiences is critical to our DNA. At our event back in February, we had Jonathan Blow on stage with it to see his uh, team's first game to witness, coming first on consoles to PS4. Right. And we absolutely love scouring the earth for the most creative and innovative developers. And tonight, I'm thrilled to introduce another incredible team which we've wanted to partner with for years. Please join me in welcoming Amir Rao and Craig, Greg Kasavin from Supergiant Games. Thank you, Adam. Supergiant Games started in the living room of my dad's house with a team of seven friends. And thanks to our fans, our first game, Bastion, allowed us to maintain our independence and stick together as a team to do a new game in our voice. We grew up playing games that transported us to all sorts of amazing places we'll never forget. We want to create those types of experiences for more people. So with that in mind, it's our pleasure to show you Transistor, which will make its console debut on the PlayStation 4 early next year. Check it out.
thanks to the Supergiant Games team. Uh, for more on Transistor, please stop by our booth. You'll be able to meet the development team and also play the game yourself with hands-on. Our uh, commitment to independent creators does not stop there. We're developing the world's best indie game portfolio across all PlayStation platforms by offering developers the ability to self-publish their own content. Yeah. That's right. The recently added indie section of the PlayStation Store enables fans to quickly find the newest and most popular titles. Our vision is crystal clear, to continue to lead the console space as the most open and inclusive platform for developers, while providing gamers with an endless variety of beautiful, challenging, and fantastic experiences. It's now my great pleasure to introduce a few of the new additions to the PlayStation family. Clay Entertainment. Their 2D artistry and classic approach to game design were evident in Shank and Mark of the Ninja. When their co-founder, Jamie Chang, first teased us with this wonderfully sinister new concept, an open-ended, randomly generated adventure where death lurks around every corner, we were hooked. Don't starve. Tribute Games. Before breaking out on their own, these founders made the totally awesome retro brawler, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. They're now preparing to unleash Mercenary Kings, a hand-drawn multiplayer shooter that brings intense retro-inspired mayhem to the PS4. Young Horses. We sent PlayStation 4 dev kits to the studio comprised of DePaul University grads in Chicago. Within only four weeks, they sent us back a playable version of their IGF-nominated game series. Octodad Dadliest Catch will stagger awkwardly on a PlayStation 4. Now, although historically accurate, this game does not contain giant enemy crabs. Switchblade Monkeys. This crew came together when a group of friends across multiple studios around the world broke off to pursue a new creative vision. Secret Ponchos blends the best elements of shooters and fighting games into a super stylish spaghetti western. Ragtag Studios. Ragtag is comprised of three industry veterans who Voltroned up to form a small studio. They were convinced that we wouldn't bother talking to them, so we put them on stage. This stealth action puzzler brings a lot of great humor to the PlayStation 4 and tasks you with recruiting a zombie army in Ray's quest to find out why he was killed. Red Barrels. This Montreal team was formed by talented industry veterans to create unforgettable single player experiences. When I played Outlast at PAX East, it scared the bejesus out of me. It's truly terrifying, a first person fright fest that you can check out in our booth. Odd World Inhabitants, Lauren Lanning. Right. Lauren was a fiercely independent game creator in an era when no small studio dared to even ask for creative control. The Odd World universe first emerged from his beautifully twisted mind on the PlayStation 1. And here at Sony, we've been massive fans of his unlikely heroes ever since. We're happy to announce that a full remake of the original, called Oddworld New and Tasty, is coming to PS4. 17-bit games. Anyone who has played Skulls of the Shogun knows this talented team at 17-bit games. A few months ago at the Full Indie Summit in Vancouver, their founder, Jake Kasdahl, snuck us out to his friend's house to demo his new game, Galaxy a side-scrolling open-world space shooter that I just couldn't stop playing. This is an incredible slate of content from a few of the amazing independent creative teams. We're welcome to the family. They give us an absolute richness and depth that can't be found anywhere else. And the best part, every single one of these games in the stage in front of you will be making their exclusive console debut on PlayStation 4. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Appreciate it. That's amazing. Love it. Of course, PlayStation 4 will also be home to giant blockbuster games. 
Blizzard Entertainment is bringing Diablo 3 to both, both the PS3 and PS4. And we're proud to announce today, Diablo 3 will have, on PS3, will have exclusive items from PlayStation franchises, like Drake's Amulet from Uncharted, and shoulder braces inspired by that game company's indie hit, Journey. Pretty cool. There will also be more PlayStation exclusive items from Blizzard in the future. Now, when we revealed the PS4 back in February, we welcomed a very special partner on stage to talk about the future, and they left us wanting just a little bit more. I'm very honored and proud to share a video message from the brilliant mind of Tetsuya Nomura from Square Enix. ノクティス様も光が見えるんですね。俺が何を知っているのか、俺自身も知らないんだ。私は行かなくてはなりません。忘れることなんかできないさ。私のことなど気にせず、自由に生きてください。疑いなく信じていた世界は常に変化し、今終わる。こうでなければならないなどというものは本来このようにない。どうした？食べないのか？おいしくないよ。でもそんなことを言うな。料理人が仕事を失う。ルシスの血は根絶やしにすればいい。なんだか面倒くさいことになってきたな。城へ行こう。奴らの目的は何なんだ。やはりクリスタルだと思う。ニフルハイブはこれまでにも。ソルハイブ、テネブラエ、アコルドのクリスタルを手に入れようと戦争を起こしている。おやじ、逃げてるら
Your mind's made up? Yeah. It's just, they really need me. I have to go. I am who I am. Because of them. Final Fantasy XV and Kingdom Hearts 3 coming to PS4. As one more gift to PlayStation fans, I'm happy to announce that Final Fantasy XIV will be coming exclusively to consoles on PS4 and PS3. Now, Ubisoft is no stranger to pushing the boundaries of play. And with Assassin's Creed IV Black Flag, they've created an entirely new world filled with huge beards, rum drinking, swashbuckling, and skullduggery. Right. I mean, who doesn't want to play a game as Edward Kenway, a pirate trained by assassins? Or play as Aveline from Assassin's Creed III Liberation on Vita, which will be an exclusive PlayStation uh, experience. Here to play the world premiere game, sorry, demo of the game, please welcome producer Arno. where his rat is hiding before my aim markedly improves. <laughs> that flushed him out. I'll catch you up, Thatch. There's no drinking after that, lads. <laughs> Back for your coin later. <laughs> Hello, lads. Lieutenant, you out here? Jenkins, what's the news? It's damn near a riot out there, and I reckon Kenway suspects something. He don't miss much. What was that? You certainly didn't bring some of those sand rats in tall, Jenkins. Look sharp. Stevens, make certain there's no surprise. I'll secure the other side and watch the park. Aye, nothing here. Oh, boys, it always me set into the muck. Stay here. 
shoot anything that moves. Yes, sir. Come on. It's time. Tell me about the beach. A fair gathering, sir. <gasps> Not too drunk to stand. That will suit our purpose. Oh, for a moment I die then. Bloody savages. Have no fear, soldier. This will be the end of them. What about our man? They've been pressing him hard all night. But he's not broken yet. Good. Quickly, send the signal. Not the first time, can we? That won't be the last. Take no quarter, lads! Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan Morin, the creative director on Watch Dogs. There are countless ways to define next gen. For us, it has to be about new game dynamics. Over the last four years, we challenged ourselves to deliver something new. So we created an entire city that you can hack at will. Everything that is connected can become your weapon against your enemies or can be used to help your friends. In Watch Dogs, you are Aiden Pierce, a modern vigilante whose most powerful weapon is a smartphone. In today's demo, Aiden must save a friend called T-Bone. He broke into an apartment to steal important information, but he tripped an alarm, and fixers are coming his way to kill him. We join Aiden as Chicago PD are closing on him. He's going to have to lose them if he ever hope to be able to save his friend. So now please welcome on stage Pierre-Yves Savard, who's going to perform for you tonight. And let's see, since in Watch Dogs you can play any way you want, how he will choose to approach the situation. Enjoy the show, and thank you very much. <clears throat> Reporting in Rare Boston, 
Squad, we're searching for the suspect now. Where's this guy hiding? Anyone seen him? Tivo. I don't want to crap your style, friend, but I picked up some chatter, and I think this kid's got fixers on me. Shit. All right, hold on. I'm being tracked. Once I lose him, I'll come for you. Yeah, all right. Make it quick, baby. Kill it <gasps> now. Hello, I need you to stay on the line. Hey, hey, why are you doing this? T Bone. Get this, brother. Prototype shit I ain't never seen. Huh? I'm in love. T-Bone, wrap it up. Floor. Go, go. They sound cranky. Forget the toys. We gotta get you out. Oh, shit. Sorry, princess. doing that. I'm on my way. Hey, listen up. They're turning the place over looking for me. Tell me you guys see him. I'm on it. Grab some men. We can't let this guy get away. Hey, uh, call the fellas in. Tell them to hurry. Son of a bitch. Stuck. Don't move until I say. Ten four, brother. Go, stay low. Here we go. Now, go, you go. Got it. You find what we need in there? Yeah. Default didn't expect us to find this romper room. I got one I needed to track him. Don't you worry. We're getting closer to your sister. Go. Right. 
Aiden. You're good. Go. I owe you, Aiden. All units, this is squad. We have a possible sighting on Aiden Pierce. Good luck to you now. When Watchdog launches, I'm happy to announce that PlayStation owners will receive an additional hour of exclusive gameplay and a special outfit for Aiden Pierce. And Chicago looked pretty, get, pretty great in that last, uh, last bit with Watchdogs. And from Chicago all the way back here to LA, from the Bulls to Lakers, it's not just technology that connects us. Everyone has grown up with a passion for their favorite sports team. And that passion comes from a real place. The pride of donning your team's first jersey, the cheers in the stadium ricocheting off the walls, that broken heart feeling after that overtime loss, so are Kings fans. These are the authentic moments that connect us. That authenticity bleeds into our games, and never before have we had such a powerful platform to express these sports experiences. With that, let's look at what's truly possible on PS4, all running an engine. When they told me they had a surprise set up, I didn't think it was going to be like this. I know, right? It's video game James in the flesh. Uh, kind of. I can see the guys at 2K. They ain't messing around on these next-gen graphics. Man, you look sick. Not bad, huh? Soak it in, playboy. <laughs> they nailed every single detail. I'm you, but digital. Now, you may be an exact replica, but can you ball like me? Can I ball? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Somebody wrote a clip. Time changes, new faces, old best friends, new strangers, new watch just to keep up with the paces, new game plan off the new places. I got a feeling I could win this race. I think LeBron's going to need some of those next-gen skills in the game against the Spurs tomorrow night. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> when I think of this next publisher, I think about the massive impact that their games have had in our gaming culture. I have to admit, I spent over 200 hours slaying dragons, picking locks, and collecting cheese wheels. Now, for the first time in the history of this series, in addition to adventuring alone, you can experience the mythology of this world alongside all of your friends. Tonight, we're thrilled to announce our new partnership with Bethesda Softworks and the next epic chapter in their legendary saga. A new dawn is upon us. 
never have our choices weighed more heavily. To stand alone, or to fight side by side. Against the encroaching forces of oblivion. We are excited to announce that the Elder Scrolls Online will have a beta that will be exclusively available first on PlayStation 4. Yeah. When we first saw this, this next universe being created, we couldn't wait to see it come to life on PlayStation. This team brings you one of the most influential fictional worlds that's ever been created. We're extremely proud to be able to share this world premiere with our PlayStation fans first. Mad Max has influenced the world of entertainment from movies to games. And it's been amazing to watch Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and Avalanche Studios bring this vision to life. As a special treat for PlayStation gamers, you have access to the exclusive Road Warrior Survival Kit only on PlayStation. And with that, please welcome back Jack Trenton. I don't know if that's all he's got. I'm a little worried, but not so bad for a start. Thanks, Adam. It's clear that all of the best development studios in the world are creating amazing games for PlayStation 4. Games such as Call of Duty Ghosts, FIFA, and Madden. Globally, there are more than 140 games in development uh, for PS4 across our own worldwide studios and our third-party partners, including over 100 that will be available within the first year. Nearly 40 of these titles feature experiences that are exclusive to PlayStation. In addition to creating an amazing library of new titles on PlayStation 4, we're equally focused on delivering what gamers want most without imposing restrictions or devaluing their PS4 purchases. For instance, PlayStation 4 won't impose any new restrictions on the use of PS4 games.
Guess that's a good thing. <laughs> we believe in the model that people embrace today with PlayStation 3 and continue to demand. Just heard you there. When a gamer buys a PS4 disc, they have the rights to use that copy of the game. They can trade in the game at retail, sell it to another person, lend it to a friend, or keep it forever. In addition, PlayStation 4 disc-based games don't need to be connected online to play. <laughs> or for any type of authentication. If you enjoy playing single-player games offline, PS4 won't require you to check in online periodically. and it won't stop working if you haven't authenticated within 24 hours. Of course, the experience on PSN will be amazing. Our goal for PlayStation Network on PS4 is clear. Build the best gaming network in the world. A network that is tuned to your preferences, is immediate and intuitive, and delivers a breadth of entertainment offerings that is unmatched in the industry. In New York, we announced several new PSN capabilities that will be available day one on the PlayStation 4, such as the ability to play games that are being downloaded in the background, cross-game voice chat, to transition to a friends network based on real-world friends to provide a more meaningful social gaming experience, and the new share button to immediately upload live stream via Ustream. PlayStation Network also offers incredible value to our customers through PlayStation Plus, and we're very focused on expanding the benefits of the service. Thank you. We've received lots of questions from our community over the last several months about whether the existing PlayStation Plus memberships will apply to PS4. I'm pleased to confirm that your PS Plus membership will carry over to PlayStation 4. So members will have access to all the benefits across PS3, Vita, and now PlayStation 4 for one price. In short, if you're a Plus member today or become one tomorrow, you're already set for PlayStation 4. For less than $5 a month, members will get discounted games, cloud saves, automatic game updates, early access to beta programs, an instant game collection, as well as the ability to fully immerse themselves in the incredible PS4 games with online multiplayer. And PS4 games that are PS4 gamers that aren't PS Plus members will be able to enjoy the single player games for free and access to all of your media services won't require Plus. We've added instant game collection to Plus last year and it's been an incredible success. Plus membership has increased by more than 144% as member satisfaction is currently at 95%. I'm happy to announce that when PS4 launches, the PlayStation Plus members will get immediate free access to Drive Club PS Plus Edition as part of the Instant Gamers Collection. <laughs> Drive Club PS Plus Edition is a huge AAA title that combines incredible fidelity and driving mechanics with innovative social integration. It's the perfect game for the Instant Game Collection because the social capabilities foster vibrant communities and these experiences will now be shared with your closest friends who are Plus members. In addition to Drive Club PS Plus Edition, Plus members will get a new title every month for free, including Don't Starve, Outlast, and The Secret Ponchos, three incredible titles that you just saw during the first year of PS4. As you heard us say tonight, PlayStation is all about games. 
Tonight, we've seen some exceptional examples from our Worldwide Studios teams and from partners around the world. However, we've saved something special for you. From the visionary partnership between Bungie, one of the best developers in the industry, and Activision, the company that built Call of Duty not just into the biggest game, but one of the biggest entertainment franchises in the world. It comes from an epic game best experience on PlayStation. These are two partners that haven't just made great games, they've each revolutionized first-person shooters over the last decade. I'm very proud to introduce the world gameplay premiere of Destiny. old Russia and I'm gonna meet up with some of my friends and together we're gonna to explore the wild frontier beyond that wall Hey, Jason Jones, how's it going? So what are we doing, Joe? Well, you and me, we're going to play through that wall. Unfortunately, it looks like we got a man down, but we're going to keep on going. You ready? <laughs> Come on, it's going to be great. <laughs> there you go. You coming? <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> All right, good. I knew you'd make it. Jason Jones, someday I knew you'd come right back through my door. <laughs> All right, buddy. So you and me, we're going to go that way. Why don't you take point? How are we looking? Looks clear. Okay, I'm gonna go first. It's getting a little dark. I'm gonna take out my ghost.
Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Hey, we got more guys down low. Yes! All right, let's mop him up. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yes, we did it. Well, mainly I did it. We're not going to talk about that. All right, let's grab our loot. Mm, that looks good. The Thunderlord. Oh, Thunderlord. Exotic. Heavy machine gun. Nice. The Look top the talent's my favorite, but you'll probably never get there. Oh, yeah? What's up top? Ah, that's going to be pretty sweet. All right, let's see how she looks. Yep, that's big and blue and covered with lightning. Plug your ears. <laughs> oh, that's good. What'd you get? Check this out. I knew you'd be jealous of a sniper rifle. Oh, I do like the long rifle. What's its name? Shut up and get behind me. Yeah. Hey, we made it through the wall. Cool. Nice work, partner. And it's Darla. Hey, guys. Hey, there she is. Looks like you guys could use a Titan. Absolutely. So what are we doing? And can I use this? There's another fire team. Let's go. Right behind you. All right, I got you covered. Hey, we got another dropship coming in. It's got a devil walker. Hey, look out. Ah, oh, we got another fire team coming in.
<laughs> Jesus Christ. War is coming. We barely survived the last. We must regain the offensive. Well, that happens sometimes. <laughs> Why is the city breathing down my neck? Why don't you put that down so we can talk? Out here in the wild, this is how we talk. Your mission is vital, Guardian. If you succeed, you will become legend. If you fail, this city will fall, and the last light of civilization will go out. Thank you. I'm happy to announce that we've established a long-term exclusive partnership with Bungie and Activision that will ensure PS4 evolves and grows with the incredible Destiny world over the years. Just as exciting as the extraordinary games available across the PlayStation ecosystem is the introduction of our cloud-based strategy. A few months ago, David Perry from Gaikai discussed the vision behind integrating Gaikai's advanced cloud-based technology into the world of PlayStation. Today, <laughs> that's a Gaikai fan out there. Today, we'd like to put a little context around this advancement. Over the past 20 years, PlayStation has created one of the largest gaming libraries in the world, a library that houses some of the most memorable experiences that gamers have ever encountered. The partnership between PlayStation and our vast library of games and Gaikai's cloud-based technology is the next step in giving gamers an all-access experience that will dramatically change how, when, and where they play. I'm happy to announce that PlayStation's cloud gaming service will be available in 2014, beginning in the US. Our cloud service will provide PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 customers, followed by Vita, with immediate access to a catalog of critically acclaimed PS3 games. These games will be streamed using Gaikai technology. What that means is amazing gameplay that is fast and responsive. PlayStation's cloud service is a lofty ambition, but one that we expect to see evolve rapidly in the coming months. As access to console quality content becomes more seamlessly accessible across a range of devices. We have worked tirelessly to bring the PlayStation ecosystem centered around PlayStation 4 together in ways that meet the demands of today's gamers. The world of console-based, handheld, and cloud-based technology is more expansive than ever before. We will continue to work with the best and brightest developers and media partners to create a portfolio of titles and entertainment that is simply unbeatable and will continue to offer the best value on the market. I'm very proud to announce that PlayStation 4 will be available at $399. €399. Euros. And for the folks in my homeland, 349 pounds sterling. In the US and Europe this holiday season, it's a very compelling price that offers incredible value given the amount of entertainment PS4 will provide to gamers over the next decade and beyond. Is PlayStation the best place to play? Without a doubt. The gaming landscape is changing with new business models and new ways to play. But at PlayStation, concepts like true consumer ownership and consumer trust are central to everything we do. With each new platform, we do our very best to earn that trust 
and we will continue to prove to you that we have the games, the entertainment, the value, and the innovation to give you the very best place to play. Thank you so much. Totally freaked me out. I right, scared the crap out of me, man. <laughs> Wow, uh, my mind is blown. Sensory yes. overload. Anthony, first thought. Three ninety nine. <laughs> that's thought. That's thought number one, right? Three ninety nine is good. Thought number two. Used games. Wow. Full ownership of your games. So exciting. No always on. No check ins. No. That's huge. Huge. I was telling Anthony during the break. There's some smartphones out there right now that cost more than three ninety nine. Yeah. And and me personally, I'm really excited that they're gonna let me do the used games because um, all the twelve year olds beat the games in a week, and then I march on down to the video game store and I get them for a third of the price. Well, it's just such a long standing <laughs> part of the way we think about buying games yeah. and getting into games, and so that's that's really yeah. really huge. Hardware looks great. The yeah. design is awesome. I love that. It's got like a little bit of sleek, a little bit of matte, you know, a little shiny. And it's what, is that like a parallelogram or a trapezoid? I'm not really sure what that yeah. type is. Yeah, parallelogram, yes. And I like the nod back to previous consoles with the ability to go vertical or yes. horizontal. Yes. We saw that. Looks really really nice. I know, it's sleek. And of course, you know, above and beyond the way this thing looks, above and beyond when it's coming out, so many 
games. Oh my gosh. We ended with the first gameplay demo of Destiny. Yeah. Unbelievable demo. How do demo. I get one of those get behind me guns? That's <laughs> what I want. That's the first gun I want in that game. It looked amazing. And the fact they just kept bringing in friend after friend and you're watching them all play as the fight teams are falling. And yeah. that game really blew me away. A lot, of good, amazing job. lot of good multiplayer stuff. A lot of good yeah. online stuff. Of course, we got Diablo 3 with some PlayStation exclusive yeah. items. We've also got Elder Scrolls Online <laughs> with a PlayStation exclusive first open beta. So if you want to get in on Elder Scrolls Online, you know where to you're go. right in there. All right. Well, I think we're going to check in with Taryn, who is down on the floor. Taryn, how's it going down there? Oh, my PlayStation, <laughs> my mind has literally just been blown. Can I just say that they just got it right from hardware to software to just the general ethos of how all of us are consuming media differently than we were five years ago. The idea of ownership, the idea of having an open and inclusive network where indie games can really thrive and be celebrated. And I will be talking to someone who's very close to that division soon enough. I was so excited about this entire presentation, I'm really looking forward to getting this console and you guys are right the price point is incredible dare I say cheaper than my last smartphone uh, but I want to hear what Ray had to say about the presentation hey Ray hey where are you buddy the PlayStation Nation is in celebration tonight. Tonight is the night for all PlayStation Nation members and the PlayStation family. An amazing design for an amazing console, the PlayStation 4 knocked it out of the park. And the price, the price is amazing. The, this, the whole arena was almost on the verge of a standing ovation with such amazing announcements by my own Jackie T. What an amazing night. The PlayStation 4 is real, it's $399, and it's gorgeous. That's all I got. I can go on forever. <laughs> but right now, we're going to go back right upstairs to Sid. I'm here with Senior Vice President of Worldwide Studios America, Scott Rohde. Scott, have you ever seen anything like that? This was unbelievable. All those announcements just absolutely brought the house down. I got chills. I was, it was unbelievable. Unbelievable. PS4 399 yeah. supports used games, very pro-consumer, and then game after game after game. Ready at dawn, they're back in the saddle. They've got a PS4 project, The Order 1886. What do you know? You got to know something. I know a lot. I think it's incredible, right? To see something that's based with so much historical significance there, and just, you haven't seen anything yet. Let me just put it that way. By the way, I just kind of want to answer every single question with 399. Can I do that? Can I do that? <laughs> you, you are welcome to, because I, I don't think anyone was expecting that. I mean, the indie message here was another oh, one I want to touch on. We had six, seven, eight different indie games yeah. out there, all for PS4, all launching exclusively on PS4. Where, where do I begin? There's too much to take in. I, I love it. That is all so genuine, too. You saw Adam up there. He's a true gamer, and he's out there searching. He's got a crew of guys, Nick, who's always on your, on your broadcast. These guys are always searching for this stuff, and they're finding the best stuff. Octodad, are you kidding me? I looked incredible, yeah. and you can yeah. tell the crowd. Yeah. I'll tell you something. Outside of the major announcements, the price, the, yeah. all the used game stuff, the biggest, the biggest applause was I heard from the indie guys. Absolutely. Those indie guys got a huge round of applause. Absolutely. Now, with all due respect, they got a massive round of applause. But the used game policy, Whoa. come on, brought the roof down. I love it. Yeah. PlayStation definitely yeah. listening to yeah. gamers. That's something we've been hearing, and I'm glad it's a reality. But, I mean, let's get back to the games. I mean, there's there's a lot yeah. to talk about here. We saw a lot of great third-party stuff. Assassin's yeah. Creed 4 was looking great. Yeah. Watch Dogs really yeah. got a big response yeah, from people. Absolutely. All on PS4, looking great. Really, uh, Destiny, where do we begin? Destiny, I got to talk about this for yes. a second. Destiny, the real-time <laughs> lighting on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just this, the large-scale co-op battles. Bungie up there in real time. They're doing this sort of, like, these instanced matches that were going into massive, like, public events. I was cool. My, I had goosebumps. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you should just interview yourself right now. <laughs> that would be a better strategy. But seriously, the wait has been forever on this thing. And finally, for everyone to be able to see this thing running in real time with seven different people playing and joining at different times, does that not look like the most amazing game you've ever seen? It's incredible. It's unbelievable. Let's talk quickly about the yeah. Worldwide Studios games. We saw yeah. Shuhei Yoshida, yeah. well-loved in the industry and by yeah. gamers, got up on stage, gave us a huge update. Yeah. Four games, coming launch window PS4, obviously we know coming out holiday 2012. Yeah. Just give me a quick rundown. Killzone Shadowfall, I mean, that, that looks great. 
The game is big, and for all the games that were shown, I want to I want to emphasize we are just barely scratching the surface for what these games are. So Shadowfall looks amazing. Haven't talked about the multiplayer at all. Really excited about that. Infamous Second Son, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, one of my personal favorite <laughs> franchises, so it's looking so amazing. And pre-show, when everyone was walking in and we had just the live the live games playing, right? Did everyone love that? I think everyone absolutely loved that. It was that, huge. Right? I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. keep focused on my work. I was trying to tweet and all this stuff. I was getting ready for the yeah. show and I just I was getting distracted. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, Drive Club, that's going to be free with Plus. Let me talk about Drive Club. Let's so, do it. The fact that, you know, our friends that wear green shirts all the time, they talked, <laughs> they, they talked about what they're offering for free with their with their gold membership, right? But we are very proud that we're offering current games, you know, brand new games that are just coming out. This is a part of what PS Plus is, right? We always offer a great value to the consumer because we love gamers. It, it, it's key, it's never gonna end. It, it was huge, I mean, just across the board, it was it, PS Vita, remote play, it's gonna be the ultimate companion device for PS4. Nobody was left out on this one, and I gotta name drop Naughty Dog, the last one huge response when that came yeah. up in the beginning of the show. Wonderful trailer. We're going to have all this on PlayStation Blog. You can see it on PlayStation.com. Get on Twitter. Get the rundown. We've got links. We've got pictures. We've got photos. PS4 hardware revealed. We haven't even talked about that yet. Oh, my God. I, so, One okay. thing after another. Exactly. There's too much to talk. Can we pull up a couch here? <laughs> because first of all, we can talk about The Last of Us for about an hour oh, yeah. and piss off everyone yeah. by spoiling. So we won't do that. But the hardware reveal. The first time everyone sees that box, honestly, the pictures and the camera don't even do it justice. When you see it in person, it's, it's very small and sleek. I mean, when you compare it to the size of the controller with the pictures you've seen on screen, it's very small, very stylish. The branding is in all the right places. This is something you can put on your coffee table. You don't have to hide it on a component shelf. So let me get this, this straight. This is amazing. Small, more powerful, 399. Sounds like a great message to me. I think we are about out of time. Yeah. We're going to Ray. I love you guys. Man, the fact that Scott Rohde is Sid's boss and my boss, that's awesome. You can tell that this console was designed not just by, you know, nobodies, but gamers. Like, this console was designed by gamers for gamers. Talking about gamers and in the community, I'm joined by Eric Osborne, community manager over at Bungie. I always usually talk to closers, headliners. You guys rocked it. How's it feel? Man, it feels great. What an awesome venue. I mean, just so sick. I was sitting back on the stage. My heart was pounding. This is good stuff. And now you're in front of camera talking to about 5 million people right now. How's it feel? Feels good. I mean, we wanted to come out and have a good showing. There's a bunch of guys back at Bungie right now who busted their ass for this demo to make it awesome, and we just tried to show up. Right on, dude. So, you know, you are a gamer. Let's 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 digress a bit. You know, what was your favorite moment besides your your awesome headlining <laughs> moment of the first conference? Yeah, I think the, uh, out of nowhere, the Santa Monica game like I didn't even see that coming that was pretty cool but they tend to do that games up there is, is, is super fun it's, it's really good to see a, big, a great slate of games right on. let's talk about destiny what, what did we see on stage today can you elaborate sure so uh, from the beginning we said we wanted to take a great action game right we, we think we do that pretty well so we want to take that and infuse it with a bunch of weird things that sort of blend and blur the lines a little bit and sort of change it up and mm. maybe turn the genre on its head a little bit so what we're doing is showing off a little solo play to start uh, Joe was on stage, he gathered up a little fire team, and then it culminated with this amazing public event, which is something that we think really makes Destiny different. This world that's alive, where you can just choose to come into this great cooperative experience and just have this amazing, amazing time with your friends. Talk about the art style. There's some sort of like, it's got this really gorgeous Star Wars elegance to it, yeah. which is not too sci-fi, but it's just a right sci-fi. Talk about that. Yeah, we're calling it mythic science fiction. So it's a really cool world where we can blend sort of the grounded science fiction with this sort of more of a fantastical, you know, capes and swashbuckling sort of fun. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Well, thank you for your time, man. I'm glad you guys are out here. You guys rocked it. I'm going to take it over to Tara now. What do you got, babe? Thanks, Ray. Well, I have a very important person, VIP, Adam Boys. You're responsible for a lot of developer relations yep. here at the company, but also spearheaded all the indie games. Is that correct? Well, with the help of uh, my amazing crew, absolutely, yeah. Developer and publisher relations, but uh, developers is something that I've always been very passionate about, and my whole team is, uh, you know, we're always out in the hunt to find the best of the best. Well, you guys announced nine new games, yeah. lots of cheers. Yeah. Tell us, how did you decide what made the cut? Uh, you know, it's funny, we always look at different types of games, whether it's, you know, if you look at this whole, whole swath of games from shooters to scary ones to tactical ones to natural ones. So it all depends. I mean, we usually unleash ourselves on PAX East, PAX, different shows like that, um, IGF and, and different tournaments and schools, just to see what's out there and what people are making. Talk to me about Transistor. 
Oh, I'm a big fan of that one. So Supergiant, guys, we actually we went to PAX East. They uh, announced it right beforehand, and they were actually right by the Dive Kick booth, which was a pub fun title. So we went by, and I actually had the Giant Bomb guys sneak me in past the line. Of course and, they did. Uh, of course they did. You're VIP. Yeah. And, uh, and so we were able to sit down and play it, and I was like, we're in love. Let's, uh, let's figure out how to, w how to partner on this. Do you have a favorite game in that nine? I can't pick a favorite. Oh, come on. So, okay, the one that makes me laugh instantly every time I play it is Octodad. The thing is just hysterical, <laughs> moving around and trying to pretend I'm not an octopus and marry a, marry a human wife. It's uh, pretty hard. Yeah, I thought that was really great that you had such a variant group of games. I mean, they were all so unique, so different. I'm excited to check out Abe's Odyssey. That mm -hmm. looked awesome. Yes. Lauren Lanning is an amazing guy. What they've been doing for many, many years has been amazing. Well, what do you think the fans should be most excited about as far as the indie games are concerned? Uh, what we haven't announced yet. I mean, there's still more to come. We've been working on the program for a lot of years, and uh, we're going to continue to bring more great indie content to the PlayStation fans. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're going to go right back up uh, to Anthony. Thanks, Taryn. Yeah, indie stuff, Amazing. super huge. I mean, Transistor, Octodad, Don't yeah. Starve. A lot of those are coming to PlayStation Plus members for free within months of launch. That's huge. But we also saw more big partner games, too. Saw a lot of Assassin's Creed 4. Yes. Looked really good. Who doesn't love pirates? Come so on. Saw a lot of Watch Dogs, <laughs> saw that companion. Okay, now explain to me, because I was asking some yeah. questions during the demo about how your smartphone or your tablet is actually your best ally in this game. So the deal is, and they, they showed off a little bit of this, but nothing this in-depth before, People can hack into your city, you can hack into their cities, and things can either be competitive or cooperative, as we saw. So he put out a call to a player that had the mobile app, and all of a sudden that player was hacking helicopters and traffic lights and providing support. I That's love insane. that. insane. Yeah, yeah. So what else did you really love I mean, tonight? Okay, I have to talk about the fact Final Fantasy 15. Yes. Wow. Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh I mean, my come God. On. Disney. Come I on. got so excited for that. <laughs> I mean, we knew the HD remix was coming. Like, we knew that. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I've been looking. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 yeah. dropped. And I just, I just want to drop the mic tonight for everybody <laughs> that couldn't do it. Absolutely. You know, and we have to keep bringing up. Three ninety nine. Everything we saw tonight, and it's all three ninety nine. Yep. It's it's really just blows my mind when I think about it. And I'm really excited about some of the new Vita games that are coming out, and how that is actually going to be able to have a remote play now with the PS4. Yeah, a lot more integration great. there. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys, this is not the end of it. No. We have so much, so much of the stuff that you saw tonight, the exciting stuff. We're getting a lot of those developers. We're getting a lot of those teams. Yeah. They're going to be live with us at the PlayStation booth all week. We're starting noon tomorrow. And we are gonna have live game demos at the top of every hour. So make sure you're tuning into the PlayStation website or the PlayStation blog. We're gonna have following Q&A with the developers after each of the demos. So if there's something you don't understand, we're probably gonna answer it following the demo when we talk to the developers. It's just so much. We're gonna talk to um, Dark Sorcerer. Yes. We're going to talk a little bit about Destiny, Tearaway. I mean, so much coming up tomorrow. You don't want to miss it, and it all starts at noon. Yeah, man, super excited. So be sure there to go to the PlayStation blog, check out the Facebook, mm -hmm. check out the YouTube. All the trailers from tonight will be up there. So if you wanted to watch some of that stuff in the nice, crisp 1080p, <laughs> we're going to have that for you. We got one more piece of video for you tonight. You know I wanted to hear about the menus. Oh you know gosh, I wanted to hear about the user experience. Urge. <laughs> so we're going to run uh, a quick promo here of every about tomorrow, and then we'll be right back with you.
pretty freaking awesome. That is all just tomorrow. I mean, that is just the tip of the iceberg of what we have to show you all week. Just tomorrow. That's it. Starting at noon. It's amazing. Tomorrow at noon. Be there live. And now here it is. We leave you yes. with a video the about you've been the new for. PS4 <laughs> user experience. Where are my menu nerds at? <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Nice, Sarah. Here, come play kill zone. Dude, I don't got that, man. I gotta go and get it. Hurry up. Dude, I'll be there in a sec. <sighs> what? Oh, Will, bro. <laughs> okay, I'll show you how it's done. Check my video, dude.